Yo, what's up, YouTube? I'm DJ Philly, and welcome to Master Crafters. Today, we finally have the third and final mob for the Minecraft Live mob vote revealed. So we are going to be talking about each one of the mobs that you can actually vote for in this year's Minecraft Live. It's going to be exciting, a quick video. So let's get straight into the content and check out each individual mob and what they do. So the first mob of the day and of the mob vote is called the glare it is actually sort of like a green mossy floating creature that will actually show you dark enough areas where mobs will spawn so i think this guy is a little bit cute and cuddly but he's also a little bit strange as well so it actually looks like in the video tiny agnes shows all of the features of the mob and so as you can see the glare actually shrivels up and he gets sort of scared when he goes into dark areas and these dark areas are actually dark enough for mobs to spawn so this is actually sort of like a f3 screen for minecraft bedrock where you can actually check where the areas are dark enough for mobs to spawn and because of the recent changes in the snapshots and the betas mobs will actually spawn at light level zero now so it probably will be actually pretty awesome to have a glare around to show you where the mobs a spawn and where you can actually place torches down so that you don't have mobs spawning in your bases or in your caves. The next mob that we have is a blue floating creature called an Alay and it almost sort of looks like a Vex but it seems a lot happier than a Vex considering that it does not want to kill you with a sword. So in the video Tiny Jens actually shows that the Alay can dance to music when you play a notebook near it and if you give it collectibles it can actually go and search for collectibles of the same or similar type. Now there isn't a ton of details on what the LA can actually do with the collectibles or what collectibles the LA can actually grab and give more of because I don't think Mojang would want you to duplicate diamonds so easily or anything like that, netherite, bedrock, all of those good stuff. But I'm sure they will come up with something pretty cool for the LA and this is our second mob. And the third mob for the mob vote that Tiny Agnes and Jens shows off is the Cover Golem. Now this creature you can actually craft with some copper and he will come alive similar to probably the Iron Golem. But this guy can actually go around and press a new item that if the Copper Golem actually gets introduced, they will also add copper buttons. And so the Copper Golem will go around and press these buttons just randomly. So I think it'll be a little gorky little creature that you can add to Minecraft. Now a cool thing that they do explain in the video also is that the Copper Golem can oxidize as well. And it may turn into a statue over time, similar to how copper actually oxidizes in real life and in the Minecraft game. So there we go. We have our three mobs that you can actually vote for on Minecraft Live. Now I'm assuming just like past years, Minecraft has actually used their Twitter account for the mob vote. So I'm assuming they will do it this year as well. So you can go onto the Minecraft Twitter account during Minecraft Live, which is this Saturday, pretty awesome, at noon Eastern Standard Time. So that is going to be an awesome festival full of fun. We are probably going to get news on the new update. So that's right, we are probably going to get news about the Warden and the Deep Dark during a Minecraft Live, at least we're hoping so. And we're also going to cover everything that has been announced probably a few days after the Minecraft Live event, so make sure to check that out as well. And also just a quick news update on Minecraft Dungeons, the spookier fall event is starting today. So you can actually get some Halloween collectibles for your Minecraft Dungeons character. Go around slashing mobs and there might even be some other Halloween festival collectibles that you can actually get as well. So make sure to check that out before November 2nd when all of those items are gone because this is a limited time event. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching we're gonna keep you update on the minecraft news and everything at minecraft live so this is going to be an awesome one we thank you for your patience for some of the videos they're probably going to be a little slower than usual for the coming weeks but we are going to get back into video creation so anyway thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video see ya